A plane crash on the Oregon-Idaho border claims the lives of three Nampa residents. Michael Calcano made the trip to the remote area where it happened and joins us live in the studio with what he's learned. Mike and Tammy, all three on board, were returning to Nampa from Portland last night when their Cessna went down in a remote rocky area in northern Malheur County. Debris is scattered across the slopes of Blackjack Hill, what's left of a Cessna 182, a plane which looks similar to this, now in pieces. It was a uh, pretty traumatic crash. It left Ontario to go to Nampa. And it never arrived. The group took off from Portland Saturday and refueled in Ontario around 8 p.m. When the two men and a woman never arrived home, a family friend called Malheur County Search and Rescue. We scramble the resources that we think we need uh, to locate it as soon as possible. Dozens of volunteers searched the back country from the ground and sky. After about five hours of searching, homing in on the plane's emergency locator, they found the wreckage and the three victims. It was about seven miles off the main highway 201. KBOI 2 News made the rocky trip back to see the wreckage. Apples and other items scattered along with a propeller. The cockpit ripped in two. What caused the plane to go down is still a mystery, but there's another sad twist to the story. They were in Portland for a, a funeral, you said it, right? That is correct. Okay. Yeah, and they were returning home. Officials say the three crash victims likely died on impact just before crossing back into Idaho. Federal investigators will make their way to Malheur County to try to piece together the last few minutes of the flight tomorrow. Live in the studio, Michael Calcano, KBOI 2 News, watching out for you.